briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, the Supreme Court of Rhode Island found itself dissecting the complexities of jurisdiction in a case involving credit card solicitations and banking regulations. The case at hand was Chavers v. Fleet Bank, R.I., N.A., in which the central issue concerned whether a regulatory body like the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, OCC, could shield a bank from charges levied under state law if it supervised that bank's activities thoroughly. The legal drama unfolded after the plaintiffs, Tyler V. Chavers, Alexandra H. Lassini, and Danise A. Owsley Burns, filed a lawsuit against Fleet Bank for hiking the annual percentage rates, APR, and imposing annual membership fees on their credit card accounts. Alleging that Fleet violated Rhode Island's Deceptive Trade Practices Act, DTPA, and breached their contract, the plaintiffs seemed to stand on firm ground. In response, Fleet argued unsuccessfully that the OCC's regulation exempted them from charges under DTPA, pleading that the court didn't have the jurisdiction for handling the breach of contract claims. But in a twist, a second judge granted Fleet Bank's summary judgment concerning both complaints, invoking the need for a consistent national strategy on banking issues as special circumstances. The court's majority opinion affirmed the preceding judgment on the DTPA claim. However, it reopened the door for the breach of contract claim by sending the complaint back to Superior Court for further proceedings. This order reflected the court's view against a flat refusal to award relief in a potential victory for the plaintiffs on their breach contract claim. This windswept legal journey illuminated the tangled issues of jurisdiction and the relevance of national policy on banking in the context of state laws. The Supreme Court of Rhode Island's landmark ruling in Chavers v. Fleet Bank reaffirmed the court's commitment to equitable principles and justice, despite the intricacies of banking regulations. The partially affirmed and reversed judgment marked another significant waypoint in the constant dialogue between state and and national jurisdictions in issues of banking and trade. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.